Okay, we're here with Greg Rubel, the voice of the Cougars for KSL News Radio. Greg, let's talk about your impressions of Media Day. Well, I was um, impressed to tell a couple of folks that we, uh, we we interviewed today during the radio show that uh, it, it just felt that that for a program launching into something new, it felt like um, this had been something that had been uh, already well established. This didn't feel like like a school. Um, edging into something or inching into something, it felt like this was uh, a perfect fit that had been, you know, some time in the making that, that was it was just naturally progressing. It didn't feel new or it felt comfortable. It felt uh, like a perfect fit. So how was it broadcasting from the, the BYU Broadcasting Building? It was it was great. I mean, it's uh, all the comforts of home. You know, it was uh, it was uh, a quick two hours. We had kind of guests uh, programmed from from start to finish. And so we just kind of um, ran them through, and, and I thought got got good stuff out of out of all of them, from from coaches to players to uh, to uh, TV executives to uh, broadcasters from ESPN to the new commissioner to the commissioner of the, the West Coast Conference. We kind of hit all the different angles, and uh, thought we covered it pretty well. Yeah. So, who would you say was the best interview today? You, you covered a lot of a lot of people, a lot of topics. Who was the best or most entertaining? I'm, I, you know, I, I, I personally am partial to Bronco Mendenhall. I happen to actually think that that he gives. Um, Really thoughtful answers, um, uh, direct answers to, 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 to questions, and, and I, I think he, he just he just says things in a way that are um, uh, that that's very uh, refreshing for a football coach. He speaks, I think, unlike a lot of coaches. So to me, uh, I always enjoy Bronco Mendenhall interviews. Uh, you may or may not consider the most entertaining, um, but to me, uh, I am I am informed and I guess sometimes also entertained by how he, how he kind of approaches things. So Bronco's always a winner for me, but uh, Trevor Maddich was a lot of fun to talk to. He, he was uh, very into the interview, uh, um, very enthusiastic, uh, still loves BYU, you can tell, and uh, it was fun to, fun to meet him and talk to him, yeah. I think Trevor had a lot of people laughing today. Uh, what do you look forward to? With, you know, media day's over, you're, everyone's excited. What are you looking forward to with this, this season coming up? You know, I, I, I think I, I once, uh, I think I tweeted to somebody that was, I was dealing with online that, that, you know, change is good, but this particular change could be great, or has the potential to be great for BYU. Um, novelty, when you've been doing something for a while, whether it's you know, a broadcaster in, you know, X number of years of broadcasting, um, you, you kind of appreciate novelty, so something different. And, and this is certainly different, but not just different. It has a potential to be uh, you know, promising and, and profitable and, 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 and mission fulfilling when it comes to what BYU is all about. So how will this, this change affect KSL News Radio? Uh, its broadcasters are going to enjoy uh, much warmer road trips in the winter uh, with, the West, with the West Coast Conference. Uh, we're going to see parts of the country that uh, you know, we haven't maybe seen it in a while. Um, I think radio listeners are, are going to um, enjoy um, just that, the novelty, uh, new teams, new rivalries, new experiences. Um, I, I really look forward to the collaboration between KSL Radio and BYU Radio. And, and I think that, that KSL and BYU Broadcasting, in a broader sense, I think have a lot of opportunities for uh, collaboration moving forward. I, I think that both, both companies and both parent companies and, um, kind of share um, allied missions. And, and I think that we can really probably um, assist each other at times, help each other at times. And I think the fact that, that uh, BYU Radio will be carrying, carrying KSL's feed of football and basketball games and then putting it out to a much wider audience via Sirius XM now uh, is an exciting thing for all of us. And so I'm just uh, ready to get it going. Last question. I'm a basketball guy. I got to ask you a basketball question. What's You're not just a basketball guy? Well, you you are you are the basketball athletic media relations director, and on the road, you are KSL's basketball statistician. I I wear that badge proudly. Um, what is life without Jimmer going to be like? I tried to avoid thinking about it. Uh, it's funny how much we're just going to miss that guy and how much we maybe, maybe took him for granted. Um, we've been working on this uh, on this documentary going back over the season, and it's funny just how many times these guys would talk about Jimmer's 30-point games, 40-point games, like they were almost nothing. And you realize how hard it is to do that and how easy he made it look. No one's like, I mean, no one's, no one's around like that. And, and so we're going to miss him so much. And um, at the same time, Dave Rose won't let this team coming up do anything but succeed. They'll find a way to win. They'll find a way to win a lot of games and still score a lot of points. They'll do it a different way. But, um, yeah, you just not having number 32 out there is going to take a little, little getting used to.